NWO uh, from the West Side. Uh, let's get everybody's names. Pot, aka Mr. Alexander. Chico. Lil CG. Three. DQ. CG. Head. Thirst. D Moss. Lil Walt. Lil Head. D Man. Taco. May Man. EJ. Uh, D Moss, how long has New World Order been around? We've been a group for four and a half months. Uh, what's the inspiration behind putting a group together? Well, basically for us is the young kids. Like we we are a group that we want to stay out of trouble and stay off the streets and stuff like that. So we make sure that we be at practice every day and they're our inspiration. Like we do this for them, we don't do it for just for ourselves. Uh, how often do you practice? Well, I don't practice at all, but they practice uh, Friday through Sunday from 6 o'clock to at least 12 o'clock in the morning. Do you only footwork or do you guys do other styles of dancing also? For now, we're just footworking and then we're going to start doing hip-hop dances with our girls when our group gets complete. Do you have a DJ that makes tracks for your group? Well, yeah, we have a DJ tracks, man, but we want to give a shout-out to DJ Rashad and Giovanni, who's in the back sleep. Uh, so Giovanni's making tracks or? Nah, he's not making tracks. We just want to give a shout-out to him because he hurt. So he couldn't be in the interview. And um, can you tell me, has uh, how has dancing helped keep anybody in the group out of negativity in any, any way? Can anybody speak to that? Well, I know um, I used to be a lot in a lot of trouble, stuff like that. I used to be out in the streets. But then like once I get into dancing and being a manager of the group and being CEO, it took me away from all that. I had to give up one lifestyle in order to make my lifestyle better. Can anybody else speak to uh, dancing as a positive influence? 
I was like, yeah, I started dancing, I started fighting and all that, man. Just started footwork. I've been footwork for like four years. Anybody else want to say anything? Okay. Yeah, my name DQ, which I already know about, but um, I've been footworking for four years, and I'm just trying to accomplish my moves and stuff, man. I, I play ball. I'm in high school, and I dance, so that's all things that keep me off the street. And I like to say, um, just just do positive things and and stay 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 real, and true what you do. Like I want to say, like I just graduated from high school, and like I just started dancing a year ago. And like dancing, like it's real. It's something real positive for kids. You see, we got Sweaty right here. He was a bad Sweaty too. We picked him up. You know, since taught him how to dance and stuff, and kept him out of a lot of trouble. So kids could come join our group too. We don't discriminate against nobody. Can I say your name? Zach. Well, what, look here. What inspired you to join NWO? Well, actually him. He the one that taught me everything I know. So, Kiko. Uh, what What do you like about footwork? I like it all. Footwork and footwork, and I like it. That's all I can say. I just want to let all the kids out there that want to dance and want to footwork. It's an inspiration. It's something that you could do all day, every day. Don't let t anybody tell you that you can't do anything. Like once you put your mind to it, like run with it, keep going. Like because if somebody tell you that you can't do it, they just automatically putting you down. Because a lot of these kids standing behind me couldn't do a lot of stuff. And look what they are now. They're gonna be doing this for the next five, maybe 20 years. So just keep y'all heads up and keep doing what y'all doing. NWO Outlaws.